Hey guys, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Hello everyone, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know guys. All is clear, everything is fine. Okay, that's great guys. Amazing. Amazing. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, everyone. How are you guys? How was your day? Please let me know, guys. How was your day, guys? Did you have a uh, productive day? Did you try to learn something new today? Okay, do let me know. Thank you so much for asking guys today I am a bit fine I've taken my medications and everything so my stomach is on a good path so we'll make sure that today uh, we'll be having a 90 minutes class <laughs> today we'll be having a 90 minutes class we'll try to revise everything from yesterday as well okay uh, we'll try to revise everything from yesterday and then we'll start with our today's class as well okay so could you guys let me know uh, what have we studied in our yesterday's class? Could you guys let me know what have we studied in our yesterday's class guys? Could you guys let me know what have we studied in our yesterday's class? We learned about uh, variable naming conventions, right? We learned about variable naming conventions, right guys? And today we need to start off with uh, functions, okay? We were learning about concatenation. Do you guys remember concatenation guys? Please let me know. Were you able to understand concatenation guys? Could you guys let me know? Were you able to understand concatenation from yesterday's class? Please do let me know guys. Just a quick revision. What is concatenation guys? When you want to concatenate two strings together. Hello and world. Okay, you can concatenate multiple strings as well. It is not compulsory to just concatenate two strings. You can concatenate as many strings as possible. Okay, you can concatenate 50 strings together as well. Like uh, somebody, Muhammad Salim ha Salman has said, hello plus sir. So that will result into one string that is hello sir guys. Okay. So the plus operator that is used for 3 plus 7 is 10. Okay. But um, uh, hello plus world will result into a single uh, string that is hello world guys. Okay. And a similar, so concatenation is a very important property that we are going to use right now. Okay. So the next thing, uh, that is all that I'm going to tell you guys right now. I know yesterday we were having some issues with the internet today. I've made sure there will be no issues with the internet whatsoever guys. Okay. Uh, we will start. <clears throat> okay, we will start with our class right now, guys. Okay, we will start with our class right now. We'll start with learning about, uh, the, um, uh, console itself. Okay. We'll start with learning about the console. Uh, in the middle, I might take up a minute or two to just take up a breath. Okay. Because still I'm feeling a bit weak, but uh, I am totally fine guys. You don't have to worry about it. So are you guys excited? Shall we start with our today's class guys? Please let me know. Shall we start with our today's class guys? Please let me know guys. And uh, thank you so much guys. We have reached uh, 3 lakh subscribers. Okay. So we'll talk about that at a later point of time. Let's get started with our today's class guys. Okay. So let me open up our uh, tab. Let me also open up our live chat in my mobile phone as well. Give me a second. Let me open up the live chat on my mobile phone. Give me a second guys. It'll take me a minute or two. Okay. Let me just open up the live chat on my mobile phone so that I'm able to see you guys as well. So I have opened up the live chat on my mobile phone in a second.
Okay, I will go to your channel and today's video. In the meanwhile, I'm opening up the incog uh, sorry, the inspect element. Okay, so right click and then inspect element. I'm going to the console. So yesterday I told you guys, right, that whenever we are writing any kind of code inside of the console, we are able to uh, write. Okay, we are able to write just one line of code. Yes, guys, we are able to write just one line of code. So if we are writing var uh, name is equals to prompt, what is your name? I'm able to write just one line of code. As soon as I'm pressing enter, guys, as soon as I'm pressing enter, okay, just that one line of code is working for me. I'm writing my name right over here, Shorya, and I'm getting undefined printed out right over here. But what if, if I want to write multiple lines of code? I don't want to write like one line of code and then uh, I just want to press enter and that's it. I'm able to run just one line of code at a time. Okay. I'm able to uh, run just one line of code at a time, guys. I want to run uh, two lines of code at a time. Let's assume that. Okay. I want to run two lines of code at a time, guys. So how can I do that? Okay. How can I do that? So for example, let's again uh, write our first line of code var names equals to prompt. What is your name? Okay. And after taking in the name, okay. After taking in the name, I want to write alert. -E alert. Okay. Uh, alert. Hi. How are you? Okay. So I will just have, uh, hello. Okay. Plus name plus Welcome to Dev Town. Okay, so this is the message that I'm creating right over here, guys. What will be the answer of this? Can you guys let me know? What will be the answer of this concatenation? Could you guys let me know? Please remember that the name now contains my name that is Shorya. Name is a variable, and variable is nothing else but just a nickname, right? Variable is nothing else, just a nickname. And that nickname right now contains the value Shorya under it, okay? Uh, nickname con uh, contains the value Shora inside of it, right guys? Please let me know. So the answer would be hello Shorya, welcome to Dev Town, right guys? Amazing, amazing guys. You guys are writing the right answer. Hello Shorya, welcome to Dev Town. So that is the concatenation that we'll be getting. So as soon as I'm pressing enter, I'm getting hello Shorya, welcome to Dev Town inside of an alert. Okay, inside of an alert. Now I want to write both these lines of code together instead of writing a line of code and then running it and then again writing a line of code and then running it. I want to write both the lines of code together. So for that, for example, right over here, I'm writing var name is going to prompt. What is your name? Okay. If I want to write another line of code, okay. If I want to write another line of code then instead of pressing enter, I have to press control enter. Okay. Please remember this guys. If I pre just press enter, this line of code will start running for me. I don't want to run this particular line of code. I want to write another line of code guys. Okay. If I press enter, this particular line of code starts running and I'm getting able to get a prompt. Okay. I don't want to do that. I want to write another line of code guys. I want to write another line of code. So for that, what we'll be doing? Please let me know. For that, what we'll be doing? We'll be uh, doing control enter, not enter, control enter. Okay. Sorry, shift enter. I'm so sorry. Shift enter guys. Is not doing control and shift enter. Okay. So if I'm just doing enter, it is running that line of code. I want to go to the next line of code, guys. I will be doing control enter. Sorry, shift enter, not control enter, shift enter, guys. Okay. Shift enter, not control enter, shift enter. Shift enter, as you're able to see, is taking my cursor to the next line of code. And I'm able to still continue writing my code that is alert. Okay. And then uh, hi, name, welcome to Dev Town. Okay. So I'm able to continue writing my code. Okay, I'm able to continue writing my code. So the code is shift enter guys. Okay, the control is, uh, the code is shift enter. Okay, do the, go to the next line of code. Now if I want to run these two lines of code together, I want to run these two lines of code together for that, you just have to press enter. Okay, to run the lines of code, you just have to press enter guys. So as soon as I'm uh, pressing enter, as soon as I'm pressing enter, I'm getting a prompt saying, what is your name? I'm writing Shorya right over here and I'm able to get hi Shorya, welcome to Dev Town. Okay, so the, all the steps is happening simultaneously itself. All the steps is happening simultaneously itself. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know guys. <clears throat> Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know.
Okay, if you don't understand this, please let me know, guys. Now there's a huge problem with console. Okay, there's a huge problem with console, guys. So what is happening right over here is every time that I want to go to the next line of code, I have to press shift enter. To go to the next line of code again, again I have to write shift enter, guys. Now this becomes very hectic. For example, usually when I'm writing a code in JavaScript, it will take like 10,000 lines of code, 5,000 lines of code, 3,000 lines of code. Whenever I'm writing so many lines of code at a time, okay, again and again pressing shift enter to go to the next line of code is very idiotic, right? It's very idiotic. Okay, by mistake, if I press enter, all my progress is lost. Okay, whatever I've written, I have to rewrite that once again. Okay, I have to rewrite that once again and that is not something that I want to do at any particular point of time. Right, guys? You don't want to do that at any particular point of time. So for that particular purpose itself, we are no longer going to use console. Okay, we are no longer going to use console, guys. What we are going to do is we are going to use something called as sources. Inside of sources, we are, there is something called as snippets that we are going to use. Now, what do you understand by the term snippet in normal English, guys? What do you understand by the term snippet in normal English? Could you guys let me know? What do you understand by the term snippet in normal English, guys? Could you guys let me know? Snippet basically means a short piece of code, a short piece of text as well that can also be called as something. Okay, so whenever you want to write small pieces of code together, okay, snippet basically means small piece of text together, okay, together. Okay, so for that reason itself, what we are going to do is we are no longer going to use console because console is no longer of use to us. We are only able to write one, two, three, four, five, six lines of code together. Okay, and it is uh, very hectic. Again and again, pressing shift enter, shift enter to go to the next line. Okay, that is very hectic, guys. What we are going to do is instead of using console, we are going to choose sources. Okay, we are going to choose sources, guys. And then inside of sources, you will be able to see this show navigator button on the uh, second row top left corner. Are you guys able to see this show navigator button on the second row top left corner guys? Please let me know. Are you guys able to see this? Please let me know guys. Show navigator button on the top left corner second row. I want you guys to click on that. Okay, there will be a lot of different options right over here. Okay, pages, file system, then overrides, content scripts and snippets. Okay, page. Uh, file system and then there are two arrows if you click on that it will take you to overrides content scripts and snippets i want you guys to select snippets from right over here okay i want you guys to select snippets from right over here as you're able to see each of these files the name is dot js the name of the file and dot js guys so just like you are having dot pdf file okay dot ppt file dot excel file dot docs file okay so you are having a file uh, that contains so for example, dot docs, okay, for example, dot docs, okay, so whatever the name of the file is dot docs, so that is a word document, okay, that is a word document that contains all your uh, things, all your essays and something that you have already written inside of it. Similarly, right over here, what we are doing is we are creating a file that contains all our JavaScript code. We are creating a file that contains all our JavaScript code, guys. So you can name the file as anything, okay, whatever you like, okay, you can name it as index.js, prashant.js, sumit.js, shorya.js, or even I can write it as, uh, let's see, so I will take a victor, okay, so victor is there uh, inside of our live chat, so victor.js, .js is basically the extension that is there, that is, this is a JavaScript file, this file contains our JavaScript code inside of it. That is what you are saying right over here. And the name of the file is Victor. Okay, the name of the file is Victor. So the name can be anything, guys. The name can be anything. Okay. So right over here, Victor.js, this is our file. We will write our code, the two lines of code that we were writing right over here. So var name is equals to prompt prompt. What is your name? Question mark. Semicolon at the end. Now to go to the next line of code, you just have to press enter. Okay. Pressing enter does not run this particular line of code. To go to the next line of code, to continue writing your code, you just have to press enter guys. It is very similar to Google Docs. Okay. It is very similar to how you write content inside of Google Docs as well. Are you guys able to see this? Please let me know. 
Are you guys able to see this? Please let me know. This is very similar. Okay. This is very similar to a normal uh, Google Doc itself. Whatever you want to write, you write it just like normal text. Once you have completed, so for example, I want to write A L E R T alert. Okay. Um, hi, uh, comma, uh, <clears throat> uh, not a comma. Hi plus name plus uh, comma. Welcome to the town. Okay, as simple as that, guys. So I'm going to write both my call. Uh, lines of code right over here i'm able to write both my lines of code right over here guys i can save it by doing control s i can save it by doing control s now to run these two lines of code okay to run these two lines of code what will happen is i'm not going to run these two lines of code i'm going to run all the code that is present into my files called as victor.js i'm going to run the entire file itself so whatever code is present inside of this file, I'm just going to run that. Okay. It can be two lines of code. It can be 10,000 lines of code as well. I can come back to this particular file. I can edit it. I can change it every single time. I can add more lines of code as well inside of this particular um, code itself. You can do anything that you want. As soon as you are able to do this, you can just press on this particular button. Okay. You are able to see this play button. Please let me know guys. You are able to see this play button down below. Are you guys able to see this? Control plus enter button, play button down below, guys. So you can just click on this particular button itself and that will run this victor.js file for you. As you are able to see, I'm getting the prompt. I'm writing P-R-I-Y-A-N S H U Priyanshu right over here. I'm going to press enter. And as you are able to see, we are getting the answer as hi Priyanshu, welcome to DevTown. So all the code that was present inside of my victor.js was started playing. Why are we not using any IDE? Galat uh, Fahmi, uh, just wait for it. Okay, I'm able to understand that why you are thinking like that. Just wait for it. Some basic topics need to be clear before we are able to start uh, using a proper IDE. That is the reason why you are spending so much time in the inspect option as a front end web developer. Okay, I'm getting letting you guys know right now as a front end web developer, you are going to spend almost 30 to 40% of your time inside of console and sources. Okay. When you go to the advanced levels, okay, you are going to spend 30 to 40% of your time right over here. So having a little bit familiarity with this. Okay. And the reason why we are using this, I'll be letting you guys know once we have completely used this and then we move on to a proper ID. So you don't have to worry about it. Learn everything basics. Okay. Complete your basics, complete your fundamentals. Then only think about bigger questions. Otherwise you will get fucked up at the end. Okay. So, uh, like I said, guys, uh, you can even do control enter control plus enter itself. Okay. That will also run this lines of code for you. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know guys. Remaining 60 to 70% you will be coding, <laughs> making the front end. <laughs> okay. So the next thing that you guys need to understand is concept of functions guys. Okay. Like it had yesterday said, okay. Functions are very similar to variables. Okay. So variables basically contain some value inside of it. Right guys. Variables basically contain some value inside of it. Right. And you are using the variable as a nickname instead of using directly that value. And we have understood the reason for doing that as well. Right. In a similar manner, there are some pieces of code that you might want to use again and again at different intervals of time. Okay. At different intervals of time itself. For example, whenever a user is coming to your website. Okay. For example, I'm a user. I'm coming to your website. You want to show me a prompt. You want to ask me my name and you want to show me a, a greeting message that hi Shorya, welcome to DevTom. You want to do that. <clears throat> You want to do that for every single user that is coming to the platform. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. You want to do that for every single user that is coming to your platform. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know guys. Great. So what will happen right now is that you will have to write these two lines of code again and again. Let's assume a million users are coming to your platform. Okay. Let's assume a million users are coming to your platform. 
You'll have to write these two lines of code a million times, right, guys? Please let me know. You'll have to write these two lines of code a million times. Please let me know, guys. Am I right or wrong? Right? Now, let's assume that I want to change. You have written that code a million times. You, you said that, Are, sir, what is the problem? We'll just copy paste these two lines of code a million times. No issues in that. I'm like, yeah, I'm being correct, man. Okay, no efforts are being put up. Okay. We'll just copy these two lines of code a million times. Okay, no issues in that. All the best. Okay, but what if, if I want to now change the message? I don't want to say, hi, name, welcome to DevTown. I want to ask, hi, name, hi, Shorya, how are you? Instead of writing, hi, Shorya, welcome to DevTown. I want to change that entire thing to, hi, um, Shorya, how are you? I want to do that. So now you have to go to that all the 1 million places. Okay, you have to go to all the 1 million places, 1 million lines of code itself and change all the messages to Hi Shorya, how are you? Okay, are you guys able to understand it? Okay, are you guys able to understand it? Please let me know. Okay, many of you guys are saying loop. Okay, those who don't know about it, just forget about it what I'm saying right now. Those who know about looping. How do you know that the user are going to come one after the other itself? Maybe one user comes, explores your website for 5-10 minutes and then the next user comes. The next user that comes after that is coming after just 3 seconds itself. You can't use loops when the time frame is very different and people doing what they are doing on your website is very different. You can't do that. Okay. So every time a user is coming to your website, you will have to write those two lines of code. Okay. So again, I'm saying 1 million places to change the code at 1 million places. You have to go to 1 million places because you have copy pasted the code, right? There's no central thing that you're changing and everything is getting changed. That is not happening. That is the reason why we need something like variables that is able to contain these two lines of code inside of it. Okay. Let me just show it to you guys. Try to understand this guys, try to understand this. Okay, we need to create a variable type of structure that is able to contain these two lines of code. It is able to contain these two lines of code inside of it. And now instead of writing these two lines of code at any particular point of time, I'm just going to write this variable name itself. Okay, var. Okay, I'm just going to write this variable name itself that now contains these two lines of code inside of it. That contains these two lines of code inside of it guys. Okay. And uh, this two lines of code that is there. Okay, now I want to change it. I want to change the message. So I just have to change it where I have created that uh, nickname. Wherever I have created that nickname itself for those two lines of code, I just need to change that. All the million places, the code has automatically been changed. Again, this is called as variables. Okay, this is called as this concept of nicknaming for um, code is called as variables, guys. Sorry, it's called as functions. I'm so sorry. It is called as functions, guys. Okay. So if you have understood variables, if you had understood variables itself, it is the same concept just for code. Instead of putting values that, okay, variable rent contains a value of 25,000. Right over here, you are creating a function called as greeting that contains these two lines of code inside of it. Okay. That contains these two lines of code inside of it, guys. Now, creating a function in uh, JavaScript is very easy. Okay, creating a function in JavaScript is very easy, guys. Let us create a function for us. First, we need to declare that we are creating a function just like we declared that var name. Okay, so similarly, right over here, we need to declare that this is a function, guys. So it is F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N function. What is the name of the function? So right over here, we'll name this function as greeting. Okay, we'll uh, make it as G-R-E-E-T-I-N-G, -E -E greeting right over here. And then parenthesis. Now, what is this parenthesis? Why is it required right over here? What is its use? We'll learn it in a few minutes. Right now, just understand what is the syntax of creating a function, guys. Let's understand what is the syntax of creating a function, guys. Okay. So, right over here, I've uh, put up the parenthesis and then inside of curly braces, I'm going to put up all my code. Okay. These are the two lines of code that is there. Down. Sir, why are we not using let and constant? Because Bilal, we are just doing the basics right now. When I reach that topic, then you will use it. Okay, so be patient. I know you know a lot. I also know a lot. <laughs> so should I not conduct these bootcamps? No, right. 
you need to learn from the basics not everybody knows about it so when you will reach that topic then you will get to know about it as well okay so right over here i'm just removing these two lines of code and putting up inside of this function guys i'm put removing these two lines of code and putting up inside of these um function okay so as you are able to see i've created this function right over here guys i've created this function right over here are you guys able to see this please let me know guys Are you guys able to see this please let me know so i've created a function called as greeting okay that contains these two lines of code that contains these two lines of code guys but now if i'm running this particular file called as victor.js if i'm running this particular file called as victor.js nothing is happening are you guys able to see if i'm running this particular file i'm able to see that i'm not getting any prompt i'm not getting any alert nothing is happening right over here see i'm running this particular line i'm clicking on run snippet okay it's not working right now why is that the case guys can you think about it why is that the case guys could you think about it please let me know could you think about it guys why is our code not running guys so see the problem that we are facing right over here is right over here i have just told you guys what is greeting i have told javascript that what is greeting i have not used it okay so for example let me give you guys a good example give me a second guys i will give you guys a good example for this uh, Okay, so let's assume that uh, this is, uh, I'm telling you guys about him. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys about him right over here. So this is Goku. Okay, this is Goku out here guys. So I'm telling you guys about it. Goku is a Saiyan. Okay, he has his favorite movies. Kamehameha. He fights against the uh, people who are threatening the earth itself. So I'm telling you guys a lot about him. Okay. But I've just told you guys about him itself. Let's assume now a uh, alien is coming to you and he's going to kill you or something. You want Goku to protect you. Okay, you want Goku to protect you. So I've just told you about him itself. I've given you a description. I've told you who is Goku, what is Goku, what can Goku do for you. Okay, but to actually take help from Goku, you're going to call him, right? That Goku, bhai, please come and help me. Okay, Goku bro, please come and help me. That is when Goku will be coming to you and will be helping you guys out. Right or wrong guys, please do let me know. Same thing is happening right over here. We have just declared the function. It's called as declaring a function guys. Creating a function. I just told JavaScript that this function greeting, what can it do? I've just told JavaScript that is, I've created a function greeting and what can it do? Okay, to actually use the function, we need to call the function. Okay, we need to do something that is called as calling a function, guys. So right over here, I will call the function as well. Okay, that is G-R-E-E-T-I-N-G, -E greeting, and then again parenthesis, and then semicolon. This is how you need, this is how you call a function, guys. So use a function actually. Okay, so as I, as you are able to see, now when I'm pressing the run snippet button, okay, once I'm pressing the run snippet button itself, Okay, you are getting what is your name? So I'm writing Shaurya Sinha. I'm writing Hi Shaurya Sinha. Welcome to Dev Town. Now I want to do greetings two times. Okay, I want to do greetings two times. So instead of writing that entire piece of code again and again, I just have to write my call two times. I just have to write my call two times itself. Now when I'm saving this, now when I'm saving this, I'm going to run my file once again. So I'm getting Shaurya. Okay, hi Shaurya, welcome to Dev Town. And then again, I'm getting another one that is P R I Y A N S H U Priyanshu, and I'm getting hi Priyanshu, welcome to Dev Town. Hi Priyanshu, welcome to Dev Town, guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know how to create a function and how to call a function as well. Okay, how to create a function and how to call a function as well. I'm able to see a lot of people asking about attendance. I'm not able to understand why you are there from the, if you're late to the class, 
then why should I tell you whether the attendance has been taken up or not? You should have been present on time for the class. The time has an exact time. The class is an exact time, right guys? 7.30. So you guys know the timing of the class. The messages are being sent to you as well related to the class. Why should I tell you whether the attendance has been taken up or not? Today I'm telling you guys that the attendance has not yet been taken. But please be on time in the class, okay? Do not think the class as like a joke, okay? You are not going to get the certificates if you are treating it as a joke itself, guys. You are here, learn as much as possible. If you are not here to learn, then forget about the certificates as well, okay? Uh, so why we call uh, the function two times just to showcase that we can call the functions as many number of times as possible okay that is the reason why okay so uh right now you are able to understand this now there are some more concepts about functions that you guys need to understand okay some more concepts about functions that you guys need to understand guys so let us think that a function is nothing else but a party okay so let us take a particular person from the uh, live chat itself who wants to be the example right over here? Could you guys let me know? Who wants to be my example right over here? I want to use a particular person for an example. Okay. Uh, okay, so we are getting a lot. So we'll take up uh, uh, Ray. Okay, so there's a particular person called as Ray in the live chat. We'll take up Ray as the example. So let's assume that Ray is very interested to become a part of DevTown. Okay. He's actually a part of DevTown. Let's assume that. Okay. So he's a part of DevTown. He uh, joined our campus rockstar program or the campus ambassador program. And he's doing exceptionally well out there. And he's earning a lot of money through it as well. Everything is happening great. So he decides that DevTown is the best platform for him. For Ray, uh, DevTown is the best platform for him. And Ray has decided that I will throw a party for all the people. Okay, for all the people that are a part of the DevTown community. Okay, uh, he has, uh, uh, like he told me that, sir, you also come on. Okay, the party is going to be huge. Okay, there will be a, uh, like a fountain of champagne in one corner. There'll be food of like 50 different uh, like states. Uh, there are 29 states, I know, just like for an example, I said that. Okay, from various different countries, food will be there. There'll be a lot of dogs because DevTown students always love dogs and cats. There'll be a lot of dogs and cats to play around. So he has organized an amazing like party. I don't know how, but he has done that. So let's assume that this is the party that Ray is throwing. Okay, this is the party. Let me just remove the name from here. So Ray is throwing us a party. This is the party of Ray guys. This is the party of Ray. But there is a prerequisite. Okay, so uh, what is happening right over here is this is the door for the party. This is the exit door for the party itself. Think about this party as a function as well. Okay, this party is basically a function. Now, Ray basically has said that if you want to come into my party, okay, if you want to come into my party, you need to bring a gift for the party itself. Not for Ray. Okay, you don't need to bring any gifts for Ray. You have to bring a gift for the party. Okay, you have to bring a gift for the party itself. So, this is me right over here. Okay, this is me right over here, guys. I will draw myself. I am having a little bit of beard right now. No hair. Uh, specs. Okay. A little bit of moustache. Okay. This is me right over here. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, I needed to have a lot of uh, stomach as well. But it's fine. I'm uh, thin right over here, guys. So to enter into the party, I have to bring a gift for the party itself. Okay. I have to bring in a gift for the party itself, guys. So now when I'm going into the party, there is a bouncer right over here. So this is my bouncer. Okay, this is the bouncer for the party. Okay, a person who is basically checking up whether you have brought the gift or not. A bouncer needs to have a lot of muscles, right? So this is a very muscular bouncer right over here. Okay, and he's going to check up whether you have brought the gift or not. If you have brought the gift, then you are permitted to go inside of the party. Otherwise not. Once you're entering into the party itself, guys, once you're entering into the party itself, your gift is going to be used inside of the party for some purpose. Maybe for games, okay, maybe for uh, uh, like joining two gifts together to form a third gift, 
okay or some shit okay there will be a lot of different things that we'll be doing with these gifts okay so we are so all these different stuff is going to happen inside of the party so the gift will be only utilized inside of the party itself inside of the party in a similar way functions can also take in gifts okay functions can also take in gifts guys for example let's assume that you know what is the age of the user okay the user that so uh, the greeting function do you guys remember the greeting function guys please let me know do you guys remember the oh shit do you guys remember the greeting function guys please let me know let's assume that the greeting function is also a type of uh like party itself okay so g r w e t i n g greeting function that is our party right over here right guys and this is the code that it contains okay two lines of p code that it contains right over here so what is happening is that i already know what is the age of my user guys okay i already know what is the age of my user let's assume that i know that my user is 24 years old i know that the user is 24 years old now the message that i want to showcase to him is that hi shorya your age is 24 this is the message that i want to show okay Hi Shorya, okay. Hi Shorya, your age is 24, guys. Okay, that is what we want to uh, showcase to the user itself. So, what we are going to do right now is that we are going to provide something, the greeting function called as a parameter. Okay, we are going to provide the greeting function something called as a parameter, guys. That is your age okay we are going to provide the uh, greeting a gift called as age guys we are going to provide the uh, greeting function a gift called as age and without this gift you are not going uh, allowed to enter into the party itself you are not allowed to enter into the function itself and this age okay this age is something that can be used inside of the function this age is something that can be used inside of the function as well okay let us look at this practically let us look at this practically okay so that you guys are able to understand so first we need to declare okay so just like in a party just like in a party if uh, ray is basically telling us that you have to bring a gift to the party only then you are allowed to enter into the party itself in that particular case okay in that particular case itself he will write it out in the invitation card right he will declare first that okay you have to bring in a gift otherwise you're not allowed to enter into the party right guys please let me know so right over here as well we need to first declare that this particular function requires a gift to use it and that gift is age okay that gift is age guys so a g e age right over here so this function requires a gift requires just one gift that is age requires just one gift that is age right over here guys and you can utilize this age inside of your code so right over here we can have hi shorya your age is plus age so right over here as you are able to see okay as you are able to see right over here i am creating a new message right over here hi shorya your age is and then i'm appending the age at the end of it okay i'm appending the age at the end of it guys are you guys able to see this please let me know are you guys able to see this please let me know so whatever gift that you are bringing into the party okay for here you are declaring the function you are creating what is this particular party for okay yeah right now you are drafting the invitation for race party think about it in such a way that you are drafting the invitation for race party and okay the party is called as greeting it has a uh, invitation you have to bring a gift called as age what are we going to do inside of the party okay so this is right over here we're going to use the age inside of the party as well okay so that is what you're doing you're declaring you're creating that okay this greeting function requires age as a gift now when you're calling the function when you're calling the function itself you need to provide the function with the age otherwise you can't use age but you cannot use the function you have to provide the function greeting with the age you have to provide it with a gift otherwise you cannot use it so right over here i'm going to write 24 right over here i'm going to write 24 guys okay are you guys able to see this please let me know 
So we are going to write 24 right over here. Now we are going to run our code. Okay, when we are going to run our code itself. As you are able to see, we are having what is your name? So Shorya, I am having hi Shorya, your age is 24. So 24 was the age that I gave it as a gift and now it is getting utilized inside of my function itself. Now it is getting utilized inside of my function itself guys. Now many of you guys have a question that what is a parameter and what is an argument? Okay, what is a parameter and what is an argument guys? So basically when you are declaring the function itself, okay, when you are declaring the function itself, these are, my audio is audible right now, okay. Uh, there was some issues with the uh, light as you are able to see the light is gone. So I've restarted my internet once again. There shouldn't be any problems with the uh, internet right now. But yes, I, you would not be able to see me in a gist. But uh, yeah, I don't look that pretty that you guys need to see me as well while studying. <laughs> okay, so you still should be able to understand everything that I'm saying right over here. Okay, you should still should be able to say uh, understand everything that I'm saying right over here. So please do let me know, guys. Am I audible enough? Please let me know, guys. Am I audible enough? Please let me know. Okay, great, guys. Amazing, amazing. So we'll start understanding the concepts right now. Okay, we'll start understanding the concepts right now. Uh, almost most of the people just left the uh, class itself. Okay, that, that is very sad to see. Uh, most of the students just left the class. Uh, no issues in that. They will be missing out on the attendance. We can't do shit about it. So, yeah. So, we'll try to understand this, guys. So, right over here, what is happening? Uh, arguments and parameter. That is was the question that we were having. What is an argument and what is a parameter, guys? So when you are declaring the function, okay, when you are declaring a function, guys, the... Uh, Whatever goes inside of the parenthesis, okay, whatever goes inside of the parenthesis is called as the parameter to the function. It is called as the parameter to the function, guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know. It is called as the parameter to the function, guys. Why parameter? Because your entire function is now dependent upon them. Okay, your entire function is now dependent upon them. It is a parameter. Without that, the function cannot run. So you are declaring the function, you are creating the function. So you are saying that, okay, this age is now a parameter to my function. And this is what I'm going to use inside. But when you're using the function, guys, okay, when you are using the function, that means right over here, when you are calling the function back, okay, so right over here, 24 that you're writing right over here is called as the argument. Okay, it is called as the argument. Here you are providing the value of that parameter. Please understand this that age is not a variable. Okay, age is not a variable itself, guys. Age is now a parameter. Okay, age is now a parameter itself. Okay, age is now a parameter. It is not a variable. That is the reason why you don't have to write var age is equals to something. Okay, you don't have to do that because it is a parameter. It's a little bit different from variable. Okay, it is a little bit different from variable. Okay. So right over here, okay, right over here, as you are able to see, you are having the age, okay, uh, the age is now the parameter that you are having, and this parameter now contains the value 24 inside of it, okay, this uh, parameter now contains the value 24 inside of it, okay, so what does 24 as the argument do, uh, it's the argument, okay, it's the value that you are providing to age, okay, so age basically now has the value of 24. Okay, is basically has a value of 24 itself. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know, guys. Great, amazing. Uh, guys, I my actually I the camera is working. Okay. You're just not able to see me because uh, the light has been gone. Okay, there's no light at home. That's the reason why you are not able to see me. But uh, I don't look that pretty or that handsome or that great that you need to see me while studying. Okay, I think so. The quality of the entire bootcamp, 90% of that goes down when you see my face. <laughs> so if I, when you're not able to see my face, the quality of the bootcamp has gone up by 90% actually. <laughs> so enjoy. High quality bootcamp guys. High quality. <laughs> okay. 
so let's continue from right over there guys let's continue from right over there okay so um <clears throat> the second thing that you need to understand is you so it's not compulsory for ray so ray was our example right ray was organizing this party right over here it is not compulsory for ray to just uh, have one particular gift he can ask for like three gifts as well okay you can ask for three gifts as well so for example right over here i'm just providing with my age i can also provide with my a d d r e s s address as well so hi plus name your age is this plus you are having um <clears throat> you live in plus a d d r e s s address okay so you have it in this particular way as well okay? I, I, so right now it is taking in two parameters it's taking in two parameters right over here guys that is age as well as address okay it is age as well as address guys okay so uh, right over here i have to provide with two particular arguments as well 24 as well as uh b a n g l o r e bangalore okay so i'm providing it with two arguments as well so if i am um, like running this if i'm running this right over here you are able to see what is your name so i'm having shorter written right over here I hi Sharia, your age is 24, you live in Bangalore. So you can use as many uh, arguments, as many parameters as possible, guys. Okay, you don't have to use just one particular argument or one particular parameter. You can use as many arguments, as many parameters as possible. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know, guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know, guys. Amazing. Now, uh, the point that we forgot about Ray is that Ray is a part of Deptown. Okay. So, he will always give more rather than taking. Okay. Ray will always give more rather than taking at any particular point of time. So, welcome to the ghost of your nightmares, man. So, this is uh, your ghost of the nightmares that you are able to see on the bottom right corner of your screens. Uh, so, a little bit of horror show is also going on right over here. Enjoy that. Okay, so like I said guys, uh, Ray will give more rather than taking, okay, so in this particular case as well, uh, uh, when you are exiting the party, when you are exiting the party itself, Ray is going to provide you guys with a gift, okay, Ray is going to provide you guys with a gift guys, okay, a return gift at the end, Ray is going to provide you guys with a return gift at the end guys, so anybody who is leaving the party, Anybody who's leaving the party is leaving with a return gift in his in their hands. Okay, is leaving with a return gift in their hands, guys. So this is me. I'm leaving the party with a return gift in my hands. Okay, so that is one of the best parts about Ray. Ray is able to. Uh, yes, he asked for a gift when they were coming to the party, but they used it for fun. He didn't ask it for himself. Okay, he used it for the entire community itself. Now while leaving the party, he's also giving us a return gift at the end giving us a return gift at the end guys now uh, let's try to go back and visit two functions that we have learned about now what we are learning right now is how to create a, a function on our own okay there are some default functions as they well that are there in javascript right guys there's some default uh function that are there for example alert okay and prompt you guys remember them a l e r t alert and prompt guys do you guys remember them? Please let me know. Do you guys remember them? Please let me know, guys. Great. So let us write an alert and a prompt function inside of our console. Right over here, I'm doing A L E R T alert, and then I'm writing just hi. Okay, a very small alert. I'm not going to make a very big alert. I'm going to run this. As you're able to see, it is showing us hi, and then it's showing us undefined right over here. Are you guys able to see this? As soon as I'm running this particular uh, line of code, alert, hi, I'm getting undefined inside of my console. Are you guys able to see this? Please do let me know, guys. Are you guys able to see this undefined inside of the console? Please do let me know. Similar to that, if I'm running prompt, okay, similar to that, if I'm running prompt, P-R-O-M-P-T, prompt, and then I'm writing hi, okay, prompt, and this hi right over here, I'm running this, I'm putting up some text right over here, as you're able to see, instead of getting undefined, I'm getting back the text that the user has input right over there. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. 
Are you guys able to see any difference between the alert and between the prompt, guys? Please let me know. So this difference that you are able to see, alert is giving back undefined to you, whereas prompt is giving back, it's not giving back alert, uh, undefined, okay, you are not able to see undefined right over here. Instead, it is giving you the text that the user is entering right over there, it's giving back the text that the user is entering right over there. So what is going wrong right over here, guys? What is the difference? The difference is that when you are running alert, okay, it, it is like a party which is not giving you any return gift at the end. Alert is like a party, okay, which has no return gift at the end, okay, no return gift. And console is like a validator, okay, the console is like a validator because con uh, there's no return gift while uh, you're coming out of alert, okay. So console is basically telling you that there is no, uh, the alert is not giving you any gift, okay, alert is not giving you any kind of return gift itself. That is the reason why you're getting undefined right over here. Getting undefined right over there because console is letting you know that uh, the alert function is not giving you any return gift at the end. Whereas when you are running prompt, okay, it is giving you the input by the user as the return gift. It is giving you the input by the user as the return gift right over here, guys. And that is what you are able to see on your screen as well. That is what you are able to see on your screen as well. And hence you are not getting undefined right over here because you are actually getting a return gift. You are actually getting a return gift itself. Are you guys able to see, understand this undefined? Please do let me know. Undefined basically means no return gift is coming from the function. Okay, after running the function, the function did not give you any kind of return value. Whereas when you are running prompt, the function gave you back a return value that is the input by the user itself. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know, guys. So right over here, oh, uh, for a second, I saw my face in the camera and I got scared. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Uh, so let's go back. Okay, for our function, that is uh, your greeting function itself. Let us run our greeting function right over here. So G R W -E, e T I N G greeting. Okay, greeting. And then inside a parenthesis, uh, 36 and bank, uh, Mumbai. Okay, 36 and Mumbai right over here. M U M B A I Mumbai. Okay, so as soon as I'm running this particular line of code, guys, as soon as I'm running this particular line of code, as you're able to see, it is asking, What is your name? I'm writing PR, uh, I'm writing Ray, R A Y Ray. I'm writing, Hey Ray, your age is 20, 36 and you live in Mumbai. Okay. But you are getting undefined right over here. Why are you getting undefined? Because your greeting function is not returning anything. A greeting function is not returning anything. Are you guys able to see this? Please let me know. When you are running your greeting function, you are getting undefined right over here because your greeting function is not returning anything back. To make sure that you are not getting undefined, you want it to return something back to you. We are going to write the return statement right over here. So at the end of the function itself, you are going to write return. And you can return anything, for example, return zero. I want it to return just the value zero right over here. I want it, I want this function greeting to return the value zero right over here. That's it. Nothing less, nothing more. So I'm saving this. I'm going back to my console. If I'm running greeting 36 Mumbai. Okay, I'm writing some name. As you're able to see, I'm getting zero on my screen. I'm not getting undefined. I'm getting zero on my screen itself. Okay. But we didn't define greeting. Gaurav, what are we doing for the entire class? We have defined greeting right over here, right? <laughs> okay. So, samely, uh, for example, I don't want to return zero. I want to return the name itself. Okay. I want to return the name itself. I don't want to return zero. I want to return some value. Okay. I want to return name itself back. I'm just writing return and then name right over here. I'm going back to my console. I'm running my greeting function once again. I'm writing something gibberish right over here. As I'm able to see whatever I input that I gave, I'm able to see it right over here, guys. Whatever user input that I gave, I'm able to see it right over here. Whatever I've written inside of that prompt itself, I'm able to get it right over here as our return, as our return itself, okay? If user wants to input his own age as value, then how? Just use a prompt. I've already told you guys how to do it, okay? Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know, guys.
Okay, guys, if you don't understand this, please let me know, guys. So you have learned how to create a function. You have learned how to give a gift to a function that is parameters and arguments. Uh, you have learned how to use those parameters and arguments inside of the function. You have learned how to give a return value out of a function as well. You have learned what is the undefined that you are getting when you are running certain pieces of code okay, inside of the console. Okay, this is all that you have learned up till now, guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know, guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know. Great, amazing, guys. Amazing. Now let us go back to the problem statement, guys. Now uh, let's go back to the problem statement. That is, why are the fuck are we using sources? Okay. Why not a proper like something like VS Code or some IDE or Atom or some code editor? Why are we using sources right over here? Why are we using console right over here? Well, let me know one thing, guys. Let me know one thing. How would you feel? So JavaScript is a programming language, right guys? JavaScript is a programming language. It is, you can write any kind of code inside of it. Okay, right or wrong guys, please do let me know. And JavaScript basically lives inside of a browser. So all your websites are basically highly dependent upon your JavaScript code itself. They are made in JavaScript code basically. So your Java, your browser is a particular platform that needs to interpret the JavaScript code, understand it, run it, and then show you the websites. The browser basically understands JavaScript code properly. Right guys, please do let me know. Right or wrong guys, please do let me know. Now, how would you feel that your browser, the JavaScript that is present inside of your browser. So let's assume this is your browser guys. This is your JavaScript present inside of the browser is able to reach into your computer. Okay, it is able to reach into your computer, open up your files itself. Okay, open up your files itself, take out all your private information and sell it off or put it up on internet. How would you feel that? Please do let me know. How would you feel that? Please do let me know, guys. Not cool, right? <laughs> Not cool. Okay, your all your photos, all your videos, all your ID and password of your bank account, of your all the accounts itself will be leaked online. Okay, this is not something that you want to do, right, guys? Please let me know. Okay, so what happens, guys? Okay, what happens is that, uh, so think about it. Okay, think about it in such a way. This is your planet Earth. Okay, this is your planet Earth. This is the atmosphere around Earth, guys. This is the atmosphere around Earth. This uh, little uh, person, okay, is me. Okay, this little person is me, guys. And the outside it is space. Okay, S P A C E space. Okay, you are having your moon and all those kind of shit inside of space itself. Now, what happens uh, is that uh, if uh, if I'm removing, okay, this atmosphere basically provides this human being all the necessary things, all the things that he or she needs. To survive on this particular planet Earth, right, guys? Please do let me know. The atmosphere basically provides this human being with all the necessary things that he or she needs to survive on this planet Earth. Am I right or wrong, guys? Please do let me know. Now, if I'm taking this human out and putting it, um, it, uh, the human being inside of the space itself, what will happen? He will immediately die. He will immediately die. He will not be able to function properly. He will die right out. He will not be able to function because there's no atmosphere. Whatever it needs to survive, it is not there inside of the space itself. Right, guys? The same thing is happening with JavaScript as well right now. The exact same thing is happening with JavaScript as well. What is happening is that JavaScript, when it is present inside of the browser, this atmosphere is nothing else but the browser, guys. Okay, this atmosphere is nothing else but the B-R-O-W-S-E-R browser. The browser provides JavaScript. This human being is nothing else but JavaScript for us, guys. JavaScript, guys. This human being is nothing else but JavaScript for us. So, the browser basically provides everything that is necessary for this JavaScript to function properly inside of our uh, computer. Okay, the browser provides everything to it. As soon as I'm removing JavaScript and putting it up inside of our normal computer outside the browser, that is our computer guys, computer outside browser. 
Okay, outside the browser, as soon as I'm putting JavaScript, it will not be able to function properly. It will immediately die. Will not be able to function properly, guys. It will immediately die. Because now it is not having the necessary tools, the necessary things that it requires to actually function properly. Okay. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know, guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know. So that is the sole reason why we were coding up till now inside of the browser, inside of something called as a console and inside of something called as a sources because JavaScript directly cannot be used outside the computer. Okay. JavaScript cannot be used directly outside the computer, outside the browser itself. The browser basically provides JavaScript with everything that is necessary for it to survive, to run, to work properly. That is the reason why we were directly using a inside of the browser itself we are using the console and the snippets to actually write our code itself to actually write our code are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys great so now but how can we make sure that a human being so how can you get guys let me know how can a human being survive inside of space can we do something to make a human being survive inside of space as well guys? Could you guys let me know? Can we do something to make a human being survive inside of space as well guys? Could you guys let me know? What can we do to make a human being survive inside of space guys? A space suit, right guys? Amazing, amazing. So we can make sure that a human being is able to survive inside of the space as well. By putting him in inside of a space suit, right guys? So right over here, this is our space suit for the human. This is the helmet. Okay. This is the uh, space suit right over here. So putting the uh, user up inside of a space suit, uh, it provides it an artificial environment inside of which it is able to survive inside of space as well. Okay. Inside of space as well, it is able to survive. Right guys? Similar to that, sometimes your JavaScript needs to work on your computers as well. Okay, sometimes your JavaScript needs to work on your computers as well. For that reason, you have something called as Node.js. Node.js, guys. Node.js is basically a technology that acts like a space suit for your JavaScript. Please understand this, guys. Okay. Node.js is basically your a technology that basically acts like a space suit for JavaScript. It basically provides the JavaScript an environment inside of it. It is able to function within a computer directly outside a browser as well. That is where Node.js is basically used guys. That is where Node.js is basically used. We will be learning a lot about Node.js and Express.js in a future bootcamp of ours on backend web development for sure. So you don't have to worry about it. In this bootcamp, I'm just introducing you guys to the topic to make you guys understand why were we coding inside of the browser. So Node.js is basically the technology that acts as a space suit around the uh, JavaScript itself that provides it an artificial environment inside of which is able to function inside of the cons inside of the computer directly without the presence of the browser. Okay, are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know. So for writing JavaScript code. You need to use Node.js for writing JavaScript code. You need to use Node.js, guys. <coughs> now let us come back to the original topic, the most important topic for this particular bootcamp, that is React JS, guys. Now we are going to start off with React JS. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> again, so first of all, why are we learning React JS? There are so many different words that you have heard about it up till now, right? Angular JS. Okay, you must have heard about a Angular JS. Okay, you must have heard about React JS. Okay, you must have heard about your Android development. Okay, you must have heard about uh, your uh, let's assume iOS development. Okay, okay, and so many different things like Flutter. Okay, F L U T T R Flutter. You must have heard about that as well. So all these different technologies that you've heard about, why are we learning React JS? The DevTown does not teach anything until and unless placements are available inside of that. 
okay yes we are highly motivated we want to learn new technologies as well but learning new technologies for students that are there in college right now is an absolute load of crap if somebody tells you that when you are in college you need to learn new technologies itself just show them the middle finger and keep on moving forward okay just do that as simple as that <laughs> okay, just show them the middle finger move on with your life okay you don't have to learn 50 different programming languages 60 different uh, uh, new technologies to get into a company okay this is not how companies hire just think about it if something is very new into the market that means none of the companies none of the big companies will be using it think about it in a very true manner guys when new technology is coming into a market itself these companies are working on previous products of this they're not going to change the entire product into a new technology that is just wastage of time and talent as well these companies already use some of the frameworks some of the technologies that are being used by these companies for the past five years and they're going to stay on those technologies until unless something abrupt something drastic has changed and right now that change is not there in the market okay so try to understand this guys why are we learning react js there are two pointers for that first 80 percent of the companies in the entire world use react js okay 80 percent of the entire company in the entire world use react js because they have they have developed 80 different projects in react js they want to start a new project they have 100 different developers of react js why the fuck would they hire somebody new of some new technology to make that product they can't even trust that person okay so they are going to make the new product as well in the same technology that they have made the entire 60 products okay are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys <coughs> are you guys able to understand this please do let me know guys So 80% of the companies use React JS, the rest 20% use Angular JS. The number of jobs that are available in React JS is a lot more than that in any other technology right now. In any other technology right now. The second thing is, sir, I want to do Android. I want to make Android apps. Sir, I want to do uh, like I want to make iOS apps. Sir, I want to make watch OS apps. Sir, I want to make apps for TV. Okay. So I want to make apps for iPad. Okay, I want to do so many different things, sir. What should I do? Now, what you can do is you can learn 50 different technologies, just like an idiot, and then try to make some basic apps on top of it. You're no longer a uh, expert at anything. You just know 50 te different technologies, and when you're learning a new technology, you forget the old one. Okay, so you are not expert at anything. You're not even beginner at anything right now. What you need to do is you need to have a technology that is able to do all these different stuff for you all these different stuff for you try to understand something guys there's a front end to every single application that you are able to interact with that is the android app the ios app the watch os app the website of the application itself this is called the front end for all these front end the back end remains the same you're not having four different backends for four different things. Okay, it's one backend for iOS, one backend for Android, one backend for websites itself. It doesn't happen like that. Otherwise, when you're going from your uh, website to your Android app, your data would be different. Okay, on your website, it is suggesting you some other movies on Netflix. On your Android app, some other movies of Netflix, it is being suggested to you. That is not how it works. Okay, that is not how it works. Okay, so backend is the same. So all the backend, DevOps, cloud computing concepts is the same for both of them. Now you need to choose something to make your Android apps, to make your iOS apps, watch OS apps, VR AR apps. Okay, you want to make your um, TV apps. Okay, all these different things. For that, you are having your React JS. Okay, you are having your React JS. React JS is used to make websites. Okay. Once you have learned React JS in its entirety, then you need to learn a new topic of React JS. Okay, you need to learn a new topic of React JS that is React Native. Okay, React Native. It once you have learned React JS in its entirety, it takes uh, seven days to learn React Native at max. Okay, it takes seven days to learn React Native at max. Once you have learned React Native, guys, then uh, 
it's just a piece of cake okay you can develop android apps ios apps watch os apps tv apps ar vr apps you can develop anything using react native guys you can develop anything using react natives native native itself are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys are you guys able to understand this please let me know are you guys able to understand this please let me know that is the reason why react js is the most in demand technology right now in the front end okay if you don't know react js to the advanced level then just forget about your placements okay just forget about getting placed into a company in development side itself okay so it is a very important topic guys now let us try to understand what is react js up till now we have just discussed upon why we are studying react js but what is react js guys that is a very important thing right so uh, let's assume you want to build a building okay let's assume that we are all pitching together and we are creating the headquarters of dev town okay we are all pitching together and we are creating the headquarters of dev town guys headquarters of dev town so how we will do that okay how we will do that guys okay so what we are going to do is uh, to create the headquarters of dev town we will require to build a building right we'll have to build a building guys to build a building a building is made using bricks okay using basically walls right guys a building is made using uh, walls itself right guys please do let me know buildings are made using walls guys right please do let me know now for example this is our layout guys this is a, this is the blueprint of our building okay this is the building that we want to create this is the, the top uh, level of the building itself so four walls we want to create right guys now to create these four walls how how we can do that okay the first method is to use bricks and cement right so we'll start putting up bricks like this okay we'll start putting up bricks like this then we'll uh, fill up cement in, in between them right so right over here i put up the bricks and then i will start filling up the cement in between them and that is how we will be able to get our uh, one wall to be ready right guys this is how we will be able to get our one wall to be ready am i right or wrong guys please let me know okay Am I right or wrong, guys? Please let me know, guys. So it is taking me a lot of time and efforts as well. Place a brick, put the cement, place another brick, put the cement, place another brick, put the cement. Just creating one wall will take me a lot many number of days, right, guys? To create just one wall, it will take me a lot of time, guys, right? And time is money, right? So what we can do is instead of so making a website using the old techniques using just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, using just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is like creating a building using just bricks and cement. Okay, it it is the oldest method. It is the most proven method as well. But it is just a method that is going to take up a lot of time from you guys. Going to take up a lot of time from you guys. Okay, are you guys able to understand this? Please do let me know. So, what is the latest method of creating a building, guys? Let's try to understand that as well. The latest method of creating a building is what they do is they take up a wooden plank. Okay, they take up two wooden planks like this. They shut it down from both the ends. Okay, they close it up from both the ends. So they will close it up from here. They will close it up from here as well, right over here. And then they will just uh, put up iron rods inside of it. Okay, they will put up iron rods inside of it, guys. So these are the iron rods right over here. And then they will pour the entire cement inside of it, guys. They are going to pour the entire cement inside of it. So it will be poured, all your cement that is there, it will be poured inside of the entire, uh, like, two planks of wood itself. And then they will give it some time to cool down. Okay, some time to solidify. They will remove the planks and that's it. You have got a wall. Okay, so if one wall is taking you seven days to be built using the bricks and uh, cement technique, one wall will take you just three days to build using this framework technique. Okay, using this framework technique itself. Okay, now just understand I want to create an entire flow. Okay, I want to create this floor itself, right? So I can do one thing. I can put down your uh, like walls, right? Right, like over here. I can just put down wooden planks. This is the top view of the wooden planks, guys. Top view of the wooden planks. I can just put the wooden planks right over here. 
I can insert the iron rods. Okay, I can insert the iron rods right over here, guys. I can insert the iron rods everywhere. And then I can just pour in the entire cement inside, right, guys? I can just pour in the entire cement and it's done. It's done and dusted, right, guys? Please do let me know. It's done and dusted, right, guys? The entire floor is created in just three days. <clears throat> the entire floor will be created in just three days, right, guys? Please do let me know. Instead of creating one wall at the time, so using this method, using the latest method, you are making it fast, you are making it responsive, you are making it solid as well. And that is what React.js basically does for you. Instead of using HTML, CSS and JavaScript individually, you are just using React.js to do that entire work for you very fast, very quick and very easily as well. Okay, very fast, very quick and very easily as well. Right guys? Okay. Okay guys. So now, uh, so that was just like why we're using React. So there are some more theoretical concepts that are there that we'll learn about it tomorrow. And tomorrow we are going to start with our programming in React JS as well. We'll learn uh, why is it called as a library. Okay, we'll learn what are its features. Okay, what is components? Okay, why do we require components? All these different things we'll be learning about it. Okay, why is it so fast? Okay, what makes it so fast itself? Okay, what makes it uh, like? Mm, responsive enough okay so all these different things we'll be learning about it tomorrow and we'll be starting with the programming in react js from tomorrow itself okay we'll start it from tomorrow itself guys okay so you do not have to worry about it everything has been going on according to the plan today because uh, there was a power outage okay today there was a power outage in the middle uh due to that the class started buffering that is the reason why we were not able to have our first attendance okay but no issues in that guys tomorrow in the first 20 minutes itself will take up the first attendance okay tomorrow in the first 20 minutes itself will take up the first attendance guys so do not worry about it okay do not worry about it guys so uh, <clears throat> uh let me give you guys the attendance for today okay Again, guys, I'm explaining to you guys that the attendance thing will just be open for five minutes. Okay. The attendance will just be open in for five minutes itself. You have to fill up the attendance in five minutes. Otherwise, you are not going to give the attendance for today's class. Okay. Uh, if it is not working for you, just reload the page. Okay. If the attendance is not working for you, you just have to reload the page. Nothing else, guys. You just have to reload the page. Are you guys able to understand it? Please let me know. Now tell me that the uh, attendance was not working for me. It is working for everybody. You just have to reload the page as simple as that. I will not be, uh, I will be posting the attendance link in the live chat. I will not be pinning the attendance link up. I will not be pinning the attendance link up guys. Tomorrow in the first 20 minutes itself, I will be taking up the attendance. If you are missing out on that attendance, you're not going to get the certificate as simple as that. Tomorrow in the first 20 minutes, I'm going to take up the attendance. If you're missing out on that attendance, you're not going to get these certificates as well. Okay. So here I'm putting up the attendance form in the live chat for just one minute. The attendance link will be closed exactly at 8.59. The attendance link will be closed exactly at 8.59 guys. You have five minutes to fill up the attendance. The attendance link will be closed exactly at 8.59. I'll provide the attendance link in the live chat just for one more minute. After that, I will not be putting up the live chat anymore. Will not be putting up the attendance link in the live chat anymore, guys. I'm going to put it up just for one minute. That's it, guys. Okay. Start filling up the attendance form, guys. Start filling up the attendance form. As you're able to see, attendance is working absolutely fine. People have started um working upon it as well. Okay, as you're able to see, people have started filling up the attendance. The attendance link is working absolutely fine. Facing any issues, just reload the page. Okay, if you're facing any issues, just reload the page as simple as that. The attendance link uh, will be closed at exactly 8.59 guys. The attendance link will be closed exactly at 8.59. Okay. Please fill the attendance as soon as possible guys. As you are able to see the attendance link is working absolutely fine. There's no issues with the attendance link. Okay. The attendance link is working absolutely fine. There's no issues with the attendance link guys. <coughs> The 
the attendance thing will be closed in the next four minutes guys the attendance thing will be closed in the next four minutes guys i'm not going to put up the attendance thing anymore in the live chat okay i will not be putting up the attendance thing in the uh live chat anymore okay the attendance thing will be closed in the next four minutes guys okay javascript is done actually no sanke javascript is not done whatever new topics that will be coming up we'll be doing it while we are learning react js itself because we only have seven days right we don't have a lot of time to actually uh learn okay javascript and react js separately so there's going to be a little bit of overlapping that will be there so we'll try to learn both of them together itself so you don't have to worry about it okay so no co contact has come up regarding the campus ambassador program should this we are facing some issues right now we'll soon be contacting you guys very soon so you don't have to worry about it okay Are we going to do personal projects at the end? We will be doing a project together. So I will be doing a project in front of you. I will be making you understand it. I'll be coding it in front of you as well. You have to just uh, like make the exact same project. So you don't have to worry about it. Will there be any more boot camps? There are a lot of boot camps that we have scheduled for you guys. You don't have to worry about it. Sir, Azure versus AWS, which will be beneficial. Go with AWS, of course. Okay. More number of jobs are available. More number of companies are using AWS. Okay. Uh, will you teach Re react advanced we'll be learning as much as possible in the seven days you don't have to worry about it okay not registered but filled everyday attendance what to do do not worry about it if you have not registered for that boot uh, for the boot camp just fill out the attendance regularly we'll take that into account itself okay we'll take that into consideration and you will get your certificates okay Uh, Depth on don't make excuses. Uh, launch Java batch as more jobs are there. Satya, uh, you don't have to worry about it. Again, Java cannot be used in front end. This is a front end development bootcamp. If you are not familiar with what is front end and what is back end, secondly, uh, we are going to have two bootcamps on data structures and algorithms in C and Java very soon. So you don't have to worry about it as well. Okay. The attendance link will be closed in one minute guys the attendance link will be closed in just one minute guys okay the attendance link will be closed in just one minute guys for those guys who don't even know where the link is dude uh, i think so you were not there in the class itself you should just not attend the class anymore if you don't even know where the link was there okay when did i provide you guys with the link okay then you should just leave the class okay you should not be present in my class anymore okay okay so the attendance thing will be closed in the next 10 to 20 seconds guys uh java technology has a still better chance in 2023 no not at all you need to go with javascript okay more number of jobs are available higher paid jobs are also available Okay, so you need to go with JavaScript, not Java. Okay, Java is the fourth most uh, in demand right now. JavaScript is the most in demand. It's number one, guys. That's the difference. Okay, that's the difference, guys. So the attendance thing is now closed, guys. Uh, we'll uh, stop the class as well. We'll come in tomorrow's class. Those who have missed out the attendance thing, dude, just be on time in the class. Okay, if you're not in time in the class and you're asking for attendance, please do not ask for attendance anymore. We want to get the attendance, we want to get the certificate, be in class from tomorrow at 7.30 exactly. Okay, if you have not got the attendance today, be in class at 7.30 exactly from tomorrow onwards. Otherwise, you are not going to get these certificates as well. Okay, the first attendance I'm going to take up in the first 20 minutes of tomorrow's class. For those who have missed today's attendance, be on time in the class tomorrow at 7.30, you will get the attendance itself. Thank you so much guys, we'll meet tomorrow at 7.30. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow we'll meet at 7.30. Those who have missed the attendance, be on time at 7.30 tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.